Hello Loader Parts Source customers. Uh, showing you how to check your two-speed uh, pilot pressure. This is if you have a machine that won't go into high range or won't go into high range on one side, one of the first steps is find out do you have enough pressure coming from the control circuit to the drive motor to isolate. Is it a drive motor problem or a control circuit problem? Uh, got a couple props here to give you a general idea on where to find your two-speed pilot. There's a lot of different ways to do this. So this is on track machines uh, or machines with radial piston drive motors, which is usually Rex Roth or Poe Klein. Uh, this is your brake release port. You'll see how that goes into the brake housing cavity. The two-speed port is goes into the back of where the two-speed spool is. So there's typically some kind of hump on the side that has a valve spool in it and all your two-speed pressure does is it pushes that valve spool down it shifts it into two-speed. Uh, this one here is single speed but it's still got the the body there it just doesn't have a port in it it's blocked off internally. Uh, there are a lot of different places it could be here 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 but if you see that kind of cavity on the side of the motor with a port on one end of it and that's a very good clue that no matter what brand of machine or motor you have that's your two-speed valve and what you're doing with our test kit is you just disconnect your pilot hose from there put that little T in there and find out how much pressure you have rule of thumb they'll shift in somewhere around a hundred pounds so if you got 50 pounds, you probably have a problem. If you got 100 pounds, you're probably good. Keyword, probably. Uh, that gets you out of the gate. If you need more help, call our techs on the phone and they'll help you figure out exactly the specifics about your machine.